Hello everyone, it's me, Emperor Rico, with Aaron Gaming Incorporated here. I'm, we're going to be playing, or I'm going to be playing, uh, Warface. And, uh, basically we're just going to be playing something simple and not long and painful, so we're going to be playing Team Deathmatch, just to show off the gameplay here. Um, the main reason why I'm playing Warface, for no exact reason, is to basically play more Crytek games. Because I only tried out two. Uh, one was the first Far Cry... Um, the classic one for the 360. Um, and the other one was the Crisis 3 beta, which was so bad that I experienced one of the worst freaking, um, bugs and gl bugs slash glitch that ever occurred in that beta. In fact, I have a whole video about that if you want to check that out. Um, but anyways, we're playing Warface, and so far it seems to work pretty fine, but this game seems to be kind of like a knockoff of, oh, well, that was corrupt. We turned out a bit. Yeah, that seemed to do that also. And we're gonna play in this freaking hell, hellish map too. So maybe I should have chosen SMG. Anyways, um, this game seems to be kind of like a spoof of a lot of different other games I played. And it's not really much of a spoof of Battlefield, other than just the classes. It's more like a spoof of Counter Strike Global Offensive or Medal of Honor Warfighter, but much more shittier. I mean, it's not that bad, but if you fuck up the assault rifles in this game, especially the damage in it, and the movement in it, then you pretty much fail this in FPS already. But I'm going to try and attempt to do good with this, with the rifleman class, even though it's probably the worthless class in the entire game. The only hope you have when using the rifleman is to shoot up in the, up in the, um, Head to torso, um, upper chest area. If you try to shoot anywhere below, you ain't gonna get any kills. The most useful class, and I think it's because I'm using a better assault rifle, I think maybe that's why I'm doing better. Like the beginning assault rifles really suck ass. But yet again, the beginning shotguns also freaking, um, freaking rule as well. The shotguns and the sniper rifles, of course, are the only powerful weapons in the game. I don't know about the LMG. I think the LMG may be a lot better, which I have no idea which LMG goes to which class. I think it goes to the rifleman, which I'm going to assume, because it has the ammo, which I can replenish myself or my buddies, which you can't even get orders in this game, so you can never tell which, which person needs more ammo or which person needs to be healing, so you always have to constantly get this damn thing out, and you have limited supply of it. Oh shit. I got lucky there. Got lucky there too. Uh, I could've gone for three kills. Oh, Aaron, I haven't told you about how the character customization is in this game. Um, when you first start out, um, and what the heck? Wait, I'm experiencing issues, and what the frick just happened? That was weird. The world spawned is in it, front it felt of like you. there were crates, like, fell right in front of me. Oh, yeah, and just like in uh, Counter-Strike as well, you, you have to look on the ground in order to pick up the weapons. Um... And of course, none of them ever have any freaking ammo. Oh, man, that's the end. Actually, just for a fuck-up bonus, we're just going to play one co-op mission, because they don't, they don't last as long, and, well, they're a lot more, more, lot more better to look at and play. So. And it doesn't help, like, every match I go to literally starts, like, during the map, during the game, so. But yeah, as for the character customization, um... When you first start out the game, when you create your character, it ain't like completely complex like Destiny or Skyrim or anything like that. Instead, you just choose a different head. And there's like, probably like 20, I think, at best. I chose the older Frank Woods one, because I thought that one looked cooler. Like if I showed off my character. You can't really see him, but he had like a bandana, but you can't really see him when he's wearing the helmet or something. Don't think you're able to change the heads anymore after you create your character either. 
currency leveling system, blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to go to co-op and not any of the training modes, which I don't know why all of them, I don't know why all of them couldn't have been unlocked after you start up the game. Like when you first start off, instead you have to wait until the other ones unlock. And I don't even think you have to progress either, you just have to wait. You just have to wait randomly, you don't have to level up or anything, because it just happens at random. So we're going to try out the actual mission instead of the initiation ones, because I completed both of those. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get myself into here, so I don't know if there's actually a mission select here or <coughs> just find a random one or whatever. Because they, they, according to like um, Crytek, they say they change the missions every now and then or something, so. Anyways, I'm going to switch my class. I'm going to switch to the submachine gun this time. Apache. Also, you want to know how much uh, space this took, Aaron, after I updated it? How much? 6.6 .6 gig gigabytes. 6.6. .6. Originally, it was 2, but it has to do with that other updating bullshit that, like, Planet Slide 2 or World of Tanks does. <clears throat> Which is probably why we couldn't get World of Tanks before. <laughs> Actually, it uh, do Planet Slide didn't do that. It doesn't? No. I mean, it had the updater, but... Um, uh, what the hell was I gonna say? What the oh, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I had the I had the separate updater, but um, it wasn't as it was like it updated the whole. Yeah, I cannot speak. When you got the game right, you got the actual updater for the game, the launcher essentially. Yeah. And what that launcher did was actually upload the game. But luckily, the game actually wasn't even that big, so it wasn't that bad. It took a while though, but it wasn't you know big. I was fine with it, so. Yeah. You know what other kind of useless features I like having in this game? I like the ability you can take out the grenade even though you can easily quick throw it by just holding RB or, throw, or pressing RB. Mm -hmm. You can also take out the knife, but you can also just do a melee attack. It only takes like two melee hits to do it. I don't know the crab mouse having like its own little mini- the climbing is kind of annoying if you have like more than four people. We're lucky we only have four because you just have like five. So we'll probably have to leave like the last guy alone back behind or we have to go or I have to jump back down and pick up that person yeah Ian, I want to tell you something with the camera um when I'm doing it you look left to right and stuff the camera will just like cut a little bit to the side yeah it does that I don't know why it's I think weird. it's something to do with like this like the um mirror on it or something uh, uh it could be because there's no way I can flick it to the left or right that fast without it going flying or I something. Would, I, so, would, I, mean, like, I think um, YouTube has, like, a mon, mon, has some kind of feature where it kind it's of stabilization. Tries, like, tries to like keep the camera still or like camera footage still but sucks ass though because it kind of does this weird like zooming and zooming out thing. I, didn't, I tried doing it before on one of my um, videos I think for Redneck ones and just really sucked. So already two of my guys died, but luckily I have like two. I have two uh, self respawns. Mm, powerful Which, pistols. We, yeah, like, like if you don't feel like waiting for your Timmy to respawn for you, you can use like a self respawn token or something. So I'm gonna head to the checkpoint so I can, so my other teammates can come back and get an ammo refill. And of course the enemies spawn right behind us. Oh, I just got a challenge completed too. It's straight aim. Wonder if that gave me a. Oh, I think they gave me a medal, so I could probably add it to my emblem or something. My calling card. Hey, don't get me wrong. The game looks good and all, but I feel like it could be a lot of a lot better than a. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean. Well, I mean, it's because you can tell it's a PC game. It's not really supposed to be on console. You know what I mean? It's just it's probably a hell of a lot better on. PC than, you know, any type of Xbox or console related device. Yeah. Oh, dude, this camera's really fucking up. Uh, try zooming out or something. Oh, uh, that could be a smart decision. Hold on. Oh, 
fucker. It's just like a very intense version of um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Fuck Every it. time I look at this, it just really reminds me of it. Ah, uh, come on. Oh man. Oh, I was... Nice. Yeah, I fixed my armor. As for this co-op mission, it kind of is pretty much playing out exactly like the other two. It's basically you go from checkpoint to checkpoint and... Oh, okay, a, a second, okay, pretty much every single one of these uh, co-op missions pretty much go to each checkpoint and kill a bunch of enemies, but I guess this one has a boss fight. A very tough one. Um, I don't even know if our bullets are actually doing anything. <laughs> Died. They went flying. Dude, I don't even think a single one of my bullets is doing a dang thing to hurt this. And you're dead. If anything, I'll try. I'll, it wants me to go to the okay. Why would I do that? But it tell it's saying I should go to the evacuation. Maybe I can just pass this guy. Maybe I can. I have a feeling it wants me to hit him in the back, so I'm gonna find a way. But there's no possible way to flank him because the whole area is completely uh, linear. There's no possible ways to flank him. Except like that. Here we go. Oh shit! Now my other teammates are down. Good luck saving them, man. Oh, yeah, this game isn't really that good when it comes to trying to do other jumps, by the way. When you try to jump to obstacle to obstacle. Yeah, I gotcha. I mean, Battlefield, you can do that pretty dang good. Mm hmm. Oh, my evacuation won't show up either. I just need to fix my uh, armor. Oh, where the fuck are you coming from? Oh, there's my teammate. I didn't even know him. I thought you were dead. That's back too. So I'm just gonna have, I guess we're just gonna have to kill this guy somehow, but trying to shoot him from the back is gonna be impossible. And you only get one grenade, so you know, I already used up my one grenade, which didn't do a dang thing. Oh, maybe I can do as a chance to reload, but look, he has a freaking minigun. Man, you should literally just run up to him and turn around. Maybe I can try knifing him. No, no. What you should do is just run up to him and get behind him. Or he's not even there. Where is he? Right there. Oh, but he instantly turns around when you try to flank him. All I have to do is trust my teammate or something. Or at least hope the enemy tries to go after him. So. Ugh, my freaking bullets. I'm completely out of my submachine gun. Maybe I should have used a rifleman class for this. Ugh, the freaking knife ain't doing anything. I am almost <laughs> freaking dead. I'm so. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> I should wait for me to use the... Uh... Well, yeah, your team ain't gonna get anything done. Oh, here we go, resurrection point. There we go, now I got ammo. So now I can go kill this bastard. And our teammates are back somehow. Maybe that coin does it for you. It revives everyone. Oh, that part... Well, I, don't, I thought that only works with just you, though. It said, it said so, so maybe, they, maybe your teammates can come back in a certain amount of time. I'm gonna assume so. Alright, let me try using my grenade. Oh, there we go. Here's the problem. There's a big fuck me light in the, on his backpack there. You have to shoot that instead. Isn't that a bit cheesy? There we are. Ugh. I have, I have to be very precise when you're shot, so. 
There is one thing I do like about this game is that you can decide which uh, kind of crosshair you want. You can check the options. Okay, a little pointless, but I guess it works. I think of it as kind of like your customizable um, crosshairs in Black Ops. Mmm. Ugh. It's kind of like trying. I have to say, this is one shitty boss fight for Destiny. I had more fun trying to fight that dang spider tank. And you could just unload in front of him, like right now, if you wanted to. Well, the, no, shooting him in front doesn't work. You have to shoot him in that little hole, that glowy bit. It's kind of like a robot of some sort. Like, you have to shoot him at his power source. So I have to, like, flank him somehow. But I can't do that because my teammate's over here now. Hmm, maybe your team didn't suck so much. Maybe you get I'll something try, like, done. I'll try passing through him or something. Some wonderful AI, by the way. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Once we'll again, go look at I it. I had to save my entire team. Again. Did nothing. What? They did nothing half the game. Look at it. Yeah. I now look to... at it. Yeah. Now look at it. Oh, what? The robot. Or the person. I want to... Ah, never mind. It's gone. Oh god damn it, man! I just like go look at it. He look at shit. Oh, I thought you said like something about my team or something. Yeah, well, at least this time, I, at least I wasn't the only one that survived, like the last two missions. Maybe it's because I've been playing so many freaking first-person shooter campaigns, I just become very good at good at playing something like this. Usually, I'm the, more, I'm I'm the type of guy that sucks at co-op. Wait a minute, what? Oh, we're not even done yet? I could have sworn that up in the end. What's that? What's, what else do we have to fight now? We have to fight a freaking juggernaut? You're telling me there's more after this? Oh, that's not good. That's not freaking good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, at least there's a rocket launcher over there. I forgot they're, they're even in the game. Oh, I kind of, for some reason I expected there to be a chopper. Now, where the hell is the launcher, though? Oh, probably have to pass through here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, just had to wait for that. I'll save you, buddy. I don't like the whole hit marker thing in this game. That big red indication is a little... Yeah, well, it kind of tells you how much damage you're to doing to it, so... I ain't gonna waste my ammo on it, because all I know is that you're probably gonna need a rocket launcher. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It looks like our team is dying. So you gotta be doing freaking good with it. Oh, there's an R1. Okay, so I'm gonna try getting this one next time. I don't even know if this thing locks on though. Okay, there's a chopper. 
Oh wait, where's my rocket launcher? Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess that's my third one. Oh shit. I just used my last resurrection token. Ah, I can't get a clear shot on it. Damn it, I missed. I just had to wait for it to get a little closer, that's all. At least hope my teammates get it. And all crap is shooting missiles. Right there, shoot. Oh. Okay, that was. How did I. You might as well just keep shooting it like in Metal Gear. Oh, there was no missiles. Which there are, but. It seems it goes on continually in this map, so. Oh, it looks like one of my teammates got one. Got shot him. Alright, gosh, hit on it. Now I gotta run. Just one more hit. Am I gonna get the last hit? Good thing this game has the armor system, or else I'll be dead by this point. Oh, I better get some to my teammates too. Oh, I better get the ammo over there. Oh, I guess we do need one more shot. Just shoot the fuck out of it. I ain't joking, just shoot it. I don't think it's gonna work, cause you know how... You know what, cause this game wants it to be very specific. It wants you to use the rockets. Oh shit, 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 that's not good. I'm almost dead, and this... No. Okay, got it. Huh. Oh. oh, maybe I should have pointed a little more to the left. Why not just try to shoot it? Like, one bullet at it at least. Shit. Okay, I have to say, this boss is pretty dang hard. Not really. It's just you guys can suck at aiming. Oh, you think you'd do it easier, Mr. Freaking I'm very good at video games, man? Yes, yes, I could. You see me use RPGs to blow up rockets in every other game that I've played in Rule. <clears throat> not lock on. Oh, you guys took all the rockets and nothing bastards. Alright, you lost. <laughs> they should be able to get it eventually. Well, I'm gonna stay away from the main group because that's, that's where you usually shoot some rockets the most. So. Come on, guys, it can't be this bad. Hey, look, wait, and. That I missile. I swear, one of those rockets right, went right through that bastard. It glitched, actually. Actually, I think I could have sworn I would escape the glitches already. Ugh. Oh, there's one of the ammo couches. There we go. This is down to me. And, 
Oh, I gotta aim more ahead of it. That's the thing, you have to aim like a little closer to it, so... No, I gotta aim more ahead of where direction it's heading. But you also have to make sure it like, moves directly at you, too, because we try to shoot it like while it's strafing and... Oh. Oh, okay then. And just... Oh, I thought the teammate was down. Extraction. This looks like the end of the line too, so. Alright, two bosses. Just like in Destiny. I said these weren't as near these weren't nearly as hard as it was. Because I was the only one that did that much of anything. Alright, do you want me to end it? Uh, I got any last things to say? That's pretty much Warfire. Uh, so, Aaron, would you want to get this on the PC? Maybe. I mean, I, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of, it just has a, like a lot of things wrong. With like, it. at first, I thought this was going to be like a Battlefield type clone. But it's actually more like a Counter-Strike clone in some aspect. It's just very weird. It just has things from Elvar and Warfire, then it has things from Battlefield, and Sora has some of the very unfairness from Call of Duty. Its auto-balance system isn't really that, that good in-game. Like, it does that thing like in COD 4 where like it has... Like, when it tries to auto-balance, it ends up having more players on one team and less players on the other. This game kind of does that. Um, and then it has a lot of the things you expect from a free-to-play game. So, uh, and my team kill points? Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, that's from the crowns, okay? So that's where you get the crowns from. So, uh, but I guess if I get my own PC, I guess that's probably, I guess I'll probably play this. I mean, I'll have nothing else to play because my gold's going to end tomorrow, so... Well, at least multiplayer pace, like, which well, I don't care that much You can about, use my, um, mic, I don't if you want. <clears throat> well, I think yours is going to end later, too. No, I doubt it. You whatever. guys never did anything to it, so. Whatever. As long as I'm not going to pay any more to this, so. So, all yeah, right. that's pretty much it, so. Until then, we'll see you all later. Alright, I'm going to end it now.